I know that we might have a little bit of rain for mm -hmm. our New Year's, and then it's going to just drop. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get a cold front on New Year's Day. So New Year's Day itself will be warm mm -hmm. and muggy, but rainy and stormy mm -hmm. as well. And then the day after, that's when we're talking about highs in the 40s. So I'm not ready for that. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to feel like winter for us as we head into not this week, but next week. Let's take a look at what we can expect over the next couple of days, though. And temperatures will still be above average for this time of year. We're looking to see a high of 77 for your day on Tuesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, climbing up to the lower 70s. And then we'll get a cold front in on Wednesday. Uh, that won't bring a that will not bring a significant drop in temperatures. Thursday's highs will still be in the lower 70s, which is still above where we should be. However, it will be noticeably cooler during the morning hours Thursday and Friday because of that cold front with temperatures Thursday and Friday in it to the 50s. And we've been in the 60s over the past couple of days for morning lows, but we do look to see some widespread 50s to start your day Thursday and Friday. Until then, though, your day on Tuesday is, is pretty warm out there. We're going to be in the upper 60s, 9 a.m., low 70s by noon, staying in the low 70s at 5 o'clock in the evening as well. So just another mild day in store for us across East Texas. We will see some small rain chances returning for our uh, Tuesday, mainly in the afternoon, but most of us will be dry. We certainly do need that rainfall out there. Our area under a moderate to severe drought, the severe drought closer to the Interstate 30 corridor, so we certainly do need the rainfall. Over the next couple of days, though, we've been watching this area of high pressure over the Gulf of Mexico. It will continue to drift off to the east, and as that ridge exits the area, it will allow for some more disturbances to bring some rain chances for us. The first one will be Wednesday morning into the early afternoon. We'll be tracking the possibility of some showers and storms, and then by Wednesday evening, uh, the bulk of that rain is starting to exit of the area. Here's a look at what we can expect here at the surface in terms of precipitation the next couple of days. Tuesday afternoon, you can see a few showers developing primarily into deep east Texas. We'll all be fair game, though, to see a light shower or two around for your Tuesday. Most of us are going to be dry. Now, Wednesday, we will see a better shot of rain. Still, not everyone's going to get it, but here's 8 o'clock in the morning. We're going to be tracking some storms, especially along the Interstate 30 corridor, and we'll be watching this for the possibility of an isolated 60 mile per hour wind gust as this cold front pushes on through. So, here's a look at future cast at 5 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. The cold front's moving across East Texas. There's some showers and a few thunderstorms out ahead of it, but uh, those storms will intensify as they get towards Louisiana and then eventually into Mississippi. So, it does look like the greatest threat for stronger to severe thunderstorms on Wednesday will be off to the east of our area. However, I cannot rule out an isolated stronger thunderstorm for Wednesday. Again, flash flooding, hail, tornadoes, the threat for those are all low with Wednesday system. So not really concerned about that. Damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. It's just a low to medium threat right now. So we're not looking at any significant impacts for Wednesday. Certainly just something to keep in mind as you head out and about for your day on Wednesday. Keep that close eye to the sky and know that any storms that do develop can get quite gusty, so make sure to uh, certainly stay away uh, from trees and things like that. But taking a look at your seven-day forecast, we're going to be quite warm the next several days for us. We'll see some more showers returning on Friday, and then we will get a much stronger cold front heading into your day on uh, Saturday, and that will knock temperatures down for highs in the 40s by Sunday and Monday. And then by Monday morning, we could even see lows in the middle 20s across portions of East Texas. So a big cool down in store for us as we close out the next weekend. For deep East Texas, it's very warm through Saturday. We'll get that cold front Saturday, and then it'll knock down temperatures for Sunday and Monday, where it will finally feel like winter out there.